mode of transport, no engine. My favourite human powered vehicle has to be bicycles because, uh, well I've not been without a bicycle since I was three years old, I've got several at the moment and I still think it may be the most important invention in history because it just improves the efficiency of the human machine but doesn't seem to cost anything. It feels like cheating. You just need to eat a Mars bar. Other chocolate bars full of energy are available. Mm. Well, I can't ride a unicycle. I've only tried it once. But on the understanding that I could learn to ride a unicycle, I'd choose the unicycle. Because the pogo stick is, is good fun, but I don't think you can really go more than about I don't know, maybe 20 metres before you were either exhausted or you fell off. So, unicycle. I'd probably fall off that as well, but, you know. I think I would like to be remembered for inventing the kick scooter, if I had invented it, because it's, it's one of the earliest forms of human-powered vehicle that people experience. You can do it from a very early age and it would be a great thing to leave behind. That would be a great gift to humanity. I wish it were possible to make a human powered miniature airship that just carried one or maybe two people because it's going to be very difficult to do this because physics are against it. But if you could walk out of your house step into your airship, pedal up into the sky, you don't have to go very high, just higher than the houses, float across town and then come down in the park or the shop where you want to go, oh, that would be fabulous. A human-powered airship just floating about. Difficult though. Mm -hmm.